It may be a country well known for its beer, but Belgium's also setting its sights on getting onto the world's wine lists. The number of makers went up by around 10% in the country last year, and together they produced just under a million litres of white, red and sparkling. Five years ago, we had about 80 hectares of vines for the whole of Belgium, he says. We now have 350, so we've been able to multiply the area by five, the production also. So, over the past five years, everything has been progressing. Everything is going well. John believes that climate change may partly explain the improvement in Belgian wine production. But he also recognises that all the hot sunshine of this year will mean changes in the grape harvesting calendar. In my opinion, this will mean the harvest is advanced, he says. Normally the harvest in Belgium is from the second week of September to maximum the second week of October. I think many vineyards and winemakers will do the harvest this year in early September. Cette année, feront les vendanges début, euh, début septembre. The Chenoy estate near Namur has been in business for 15 years. It has 10 hectares of vineyards, seven of which are devoted to red wine, the largest area of its kind in Belgium. Bosses here are sceptical about climate change. I'm very wary of this argument because, first of all, we don't know if there's a warming, he says. For me, I prefer the words climate change, so we don't know where we're going. I'm also wary of extreme events. We have a year when everything is fine. It's nice, hot, like the Mediterranean. All Belgians are smiling. So am I. But that doesn't protect us from storms and hailstones. Of course, we can see changes. That's the impression. But how do we know that in 30 years it won't go in the opposite direction? Jean Bernard thinks the growth in Belgian wine production is down to many factors. The vines are maturing and growers know their lands better. You have to have the climatic conditions, he says, then you have to know how to do it. And that cannot be improvised. You have to have theory, but also a lot of practice. And with ageing vines, we start to have a Belgian wine ecosystem that really exists. This was not the case 20, 25 years ago. We felt very alone. Belgium's current production is just a drop in the wine ocean, producing a million bottles a year in a country that consumes 300 million overall.